Hi guys, welcome to another Let's Play A Normal Lost Film. So last time I read through all the rest of the BU forum, and then I attempted to get into the VIP section and I couldn't. I looked something up because I was really confused as to how to get into that section. I didn't discover the specific password but I did discover like how to get the password. So this is not going to work. And so now I have to put what is your father's year of birth. And so that's that's what I have to figure out. And I know that there was a picture I downloaded of Sam's father, this one. And see, it says 54, and this was taken um, in 2015. So I can use the calculator. 2015 subtract 54 equals 1961. All right. 61. Submit. An email content. Yes. Okay. We are sending you this email because you requested a new password by answering your secret question correctly. Your new password is 843347. You make us very happy by being active. Okay. 843347. 843347. What? That didn't work. Oh, wait, yes! I'm in VIP. Oh my god, there's way more to read. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a long game. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a really short game, but I have been playing it for over four hours now. I have no idea how many parts it is. I suppose it's eight parts now. <laughs> But it's definitely interesting because I am, I've only been playing it for half a week. So I just keep finding time to play it. Anyway, VIP. Hello, hey there, I'm Barbara from Cavonia. Barbara, okay. I'm Harry from Melrin. Winky face. Didn't I see a Harry in the messages? I think I did. Wait a second. Harry. Book club, yes. Yep. Clotilde from Dinatown at your service. Victor from Elio Cole. Hetty here, Santa uh, Raphaelia. Okay, let's keep it short and simple. Who's going to Transpride on December 19th? Me. I'm so, so looking forward to it, particularly because I haven't been since 2013. I can't wait to see you again, Chloe. I'll be there. I should be coming. I've been thinking about bringing Sam thing along. We met at the LGBT center in Melrin. She's cool, so would it be okay to add her to the VIP section of the forum? I like to meet people in person before inviting them here. Okay, fine. I'll introduce you to her if she comes with me to Transpride. And then she did, so... Hi everyone, so uh, thanks for the invite to the VIP section. I'm honored, smiley face. So yeah, I'm Samira. Samira, we met this weekend. I took loads of photos during Transpride on my cell phone. Can I share them here? Of course, but make sure you only post the good ones, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, that's all the pics I took. Thanks, Barbara, for taking the photo of me. It's the first time I've had my picture taken as Samira, and it's really great. I've shared them all now, so I'm going to delete them from my phone. I'm worried my mom might see them. She's always messing with my stuff. Your photos are really cool, so you know what you should do about your mom. You should install a fake calculator app. 
It's an app that looks like a real calculator, but when you install it, you choose a special number. And when you enter it and press the equals button, it opens a hidden folder where you can keep whatever you want. What? Wow, awesome. How come I only just found out about this? I already deleted all the photos. So I've installed the fake calculator. I've put all my sensitive stuff there now. I'm glad it helped. Did you make sure to choose a strong password? It is a strong password indeed, but I'm sure I won't forget it. It has something to do with all of you. Huh. I love my photo. I would like to use it on a dating website. I think the ones I've been using so far are really ugly. How do I download it? Great pig, Hetty. You just need to click on it. I feel like this is Samira. Hmm. Strong password has something to do with all of you. Is it the date again? Let's see. Let's see, it was 12, 19. 19 equals, no, 12, 19, 2015. Nope. to do with all of you. Maybe the date that Sam joined? So 12 20? 12 20 equals 12 20 2015 equals I have no idea, you guys. Something to do with all of you. Okay, well, I'm going to do the other thing that I can do. So, I'm pretty sure that's it. Right? Because that looks like the same. Yeah, it's got to be. The same person? I think so. You look really beautiful in it. Was it taken during the Pride, uh, the Trans Pride at Cavonia? I recognize the city. Cavonia rules. It's really a nice place to live for LGBT people. And that's all I can do. Shoot. Oh no, I'm going to have to cheat again, you guys. I mean, I didn't cheat too badly. What? Okay. Wait. So we know, okay. Barbara? Harry? No one else is from Melrin, though. Okay. And there wasn't anything in Harry's... I forget who this is. Oh, that's the video game one. Noah. Hmm. Harry. Oh. Jeez, okay. Okay, so. Let's see. She said that it has something to do with all of you. It is a strong password indeed, but I'm sure I won't forget it. It has something to do with all of you. And yes, I cheated to figure out how to, how to discover the password. Because in this app, after I sent the photo, Phil responded with, was it taken during the trans pride at Cavonia? So Cavonia is where they all met in person. So that has to do with all of them. And 
I yeah, I don't think I would have figured this out without cheating. So I'm I'm glad that I did, or else it would have been hours of nothing. But anyway, Cavonia. Um, Cavonia's zip code is this, so eight five nine two two. Eight five nine two two equals <gasps> diary. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wow, this is okay, it starts back in 2015. Oh wait, this is December. Oh gosh. I always get mixed up because Sam puts the the day of the month before putting the month. The 1st of December, 2015. I thought it was January. <laughs> I finally got a new phone to replace the one that got stolen. It works all right, but I've got mixed feelings about it. I lost all I had on my old phone, old pictures and messages. On the other hand, I like to think there's some meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, come on, it's time to start a clean slate. Take your life into your own hands and start anew. Tomorrow there's a meeting for the support group for LGBT teens. Maybe I'll convince myself to go. I went to the support group's meeting. I had to make up something for my mom to let me go. I told her I joined a book club. She was so excited about it that she made a cake for me to bring. She really does everything she can to help me make new friends. Though if she knew the kind of friends I made there, I'm not sure she'd be baking m many cakes. Board games meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She threw yet another fit because of Atlas. I have to say, it bothers me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Alice thinks I'm Samira, but to Melissa, I'll be Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. I'll have to tell Melissa one day, but for now, I just don't feel like I can do it. Plus, we've been together for three years, and she probably thinks it's a together forever kind of deal. Me too. I'm head over heels for her, but I know she wouldn't be okay with Samira. Thankfully, Melissa doesn't want to have sex before getting married. Because honestly, I really don't do not want to be naked in front of her for now. I don't feel comfortable enough with my body for that. Oh man. So now this is starting to all make sense and I'm sorry that I jumped to conclusions. I can understand how hard this must have been for Sam to go through. Today the support group people advised me to come out to at least one person I trust. I thought I could always talk to Alice about it this Sunday. She thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably wouldn't take it badly if I admitted to her I was born Samuel. What a shitty day. I expected to come out to Alice today during our board games afternoon meetup. Not only did I not manage to do it, I also ended up withdrawing completely, stuck in my little shell. Lola, this stupid moron, told me she had to talk to me about something in private. So apparently, her boyfriend goes to the same school as me. And upon seeing his class photo, she recognized me, but like as Samuel. So obviously, she ha asked questions. I tried to come up with something like having a twin and the likes, but I ended up splurting something, feeling embarrassed. She told me I could tell her the truth. Being all, you know, Samira, you can trust me, with her teeny bopper voice. Turns out I told her everything. What a mistake. She took it way too bad. She told me I was a monster, that she didn't want me to come and play with them ever again. I just feel like dying. Tomorrow's trans pride. I'm so excited I can barely sleep. Trans pride was amazing. I just felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one to judge me. It was great. And Cavonia is such a, is just such a sweet city. I'd love to live there, rather than in Melrin. Seriously, Melrin is the most bigoted city in the world. I'm pretty certain that half the population don't even know what LGBT stands for. It was my dad's birthday tonight. We had a cozy evening. 
It was only my parents and Melissa. It was just unpleasant. They talked about queer couples' rights to adoption. I didn't know my parents were sort of closed-minded on the topic, and apparently so is Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I'll never dare come out to him. What a shitty day. I broke up with Melissa. We were going to meet up tonight to celebrate the new year, just the two of us. I thought it was going to be a relaxed evening, that she was going to be tired because of the flight. But that didn't seem to be the case, like, at all. She even wanted to go all out tonight. To think she always told me she wanted to wait until getting married. All of a sudden, she sends me a pic of the lingerie set of the lingerie she was going to wear tonight. I suppose she felt threatened by Alice and thought it was a way to keep me around for longer. But like, no way. I just didn't feel like I could keep lying to her. But I couldn't tell her the truth either. Melissa's mom called. Apparently she tried to commit suicide on New Year's Eve. Fuck. I can't believe it. It's my fault. I was so fucking idiotic. I am the worst. I felt awful after hearing the news. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean, told her everything. She was terrific. It really did me good to finally tell her the truth. But it doesn't change anything about the fact I feel like crap because of Melissa. Shit, how could she do this? Melissa told me I was toxic. Honestly, I do not deserve to live. Oh... I've been contacted by Loud Note, who are interested in my music. I'm all joy and happiness. I signed up to a dating website today. Alice convinced me it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sold. For starters, the website doesn't seem to seem at all open to homosexual or bisexual people. Oh, that's why. Well, there are so many other dating apps, though, that are... (sighs) <sighs> no way to check profiles of your own gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. I really wonder if this was a good idea. I don't even really know what I'm looking for. I have had it. I don't know how this day could have gone any worse. First, I learned via Tio that our parents have been lying to us for years, telling us my cousin Eric had joined a cult. When actually he had just got kicked out when his parents discovered he was gay. Trying to come out to trying to come out in this fucked up family is out of the question. The second terrible news of the day is that Alice is leaving Melrin. She just got in for a semester abroad, her dream university, and she's leaving very soon. My one and only support in this shitty city is leaving. I can't even bring myself to be happy for her, even though I know I should. In two days, I'll be 18. I'm not a believer, but today I prayed for something to happen. I just want somebody to tell me, don't mind the others, erase them all from your life. Don't keep anything from the present. Leave your boy wardrobe in Melrin, throw away your phone, and leave to start anew somewhere else. There, we just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five minutes now. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm an adult. I wish I could say a brave, independent adult person. But it's more like a trans adult stuck in Melrin. It seriously seems like if I stay one more day in this town, I'll do something wrong. New email. What? Hey Alice, I'm writing from the computer room of the Cavonia LGBT Center. I just got there and I'm planning to rebuild my life there. It's a decision I kind of made on a whim. But I really couldn't stand my life in Melrin. I was suffocating there. And you were really my only support. So when you told me you were leaving Melrin, I got so depressed. In truth, you're right. I attached too much importance to dates, and especially signs from fate. And I was waiting for a sign, just something. And guess what? My birthday present was a motorbike. How could I not see it as a sign? Me looking for a way to leave. 
I said I was going for a ride, and I got away. I feel so relieved to be gone. I wanted to erase every trace of my old life where I couldn't recognize myself. So I threw away my phone without thinking. So, well, I can't call you. That was dumb. I'll, e I'll mail you my new number. Promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked and anyone could find it. That really bothers me. I don't want people searching it. Those are only traces of an old life, an old me I can't even recognize anymore. Hey Sam, I'm glad you were able to gather your courage and leave to b rebuild your life. Um, even if I'll be very far from now on, you can still count on me when things go wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely someone will find it, erase all the data, and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's still an almost brand new phone. If it's someone with good intentions, They'll want to look around a bit to return it to its owner. And when they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons you left and will decide to erase all your data to erase every trace of your escape. Well, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do next. Well, Okay, I guess we'll have to. Do you really want to erase all the data on this device? Warning, this action cannot be undone. Accept. Thanks for playing a normal lost phone. Well, so that was an interesting game. And... It wasn't exactly what I thought it would be, but it was really intriguing, and it was also very informative on trans, which I appreciate, because in order to keep yourself educated and respectful of everyone, you need to be informed of things like this, so I think it was a good game. It was definitely interesting, and yes, I judged Sam a few times <laughs> but I also I really understand that what she was going through was must have been really hard so there we go okay so thank you so much for watching my journey um, through this game through discovering the truth of Sam and what happened and I'm glad to hear that Sam just ran away and nothing bad happened to Sam because I was starting to think that it was going to be a really, really, really sad ending. Um, so I'm glad to know that she's all right and that it was just her deciding to leave so that she could live her truth and so that's a lot better than the ending I was starting to think might happen. So thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. And if you like this video, be sure to check out all my other content. I have lots of content on my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram to stay informed with what I'm up to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.